Hi, my name is Sophie Summers and welcome to the Crossdressing Lifestyle channel. Now in today's product review we're going to be having a quite a detailed look at what's best described as a silicon lower female body part here. It's a bit like a pair of shorts, it's got all the detail believe me and a few interesting aspects about it. So if you'd like to find out a little bit more about it please join me after the break. So welcome back. Now I recently received this particular sample here from a Chinese manufacturer um, who said quote unquote this particular garment or shapewear item is selling like hotcakes. So I thought I would give it quite a detailed review um, and give my sort of comments on it and hopefully share them with yourself and see what you thought about it. Now the first thing that uh, struck me about it is actually quite heavy indeed. Now when I have a look at its construction here um, it's made out of pure sort of very stretchy silicon here. The wall thickness is approximately I would say about three millimeters in, in width here and the section here which is the buttock area for the behind is actually quite substantially padded here. I would imagine because I haven't got a pair of calipers to actually physically measure it. They're somewhere in the region of about one centimeter maybe one and a quarter centimeters in thickness here and if I hold it up um, in the profile here you can see it adds a shape to the to the rear area here or the buttocks. Now the whole thing is quite well sculpted I think that's probably a good description of it with quite a bit of detail um, I don't want to show too much of the detail on the camera here for obvious reasons um, it's even got its own little belly button in here. Now the first thing that did strike me is that internally it's got its own little sort of catheter arrangement here that you can um, slip into so that once you're wearing this and if you are caught short for whatever reason you don't actually have to take it off to go to the toilet. Now um, a couple of basic dimensions as I can see them at this moment in time. At rest, so in other words when it's not stretched out, the waist area here is approximately ten and a half inches in sort of length there so that would make it about a 21 inch uh, circumference. Now it does stretch out quite wide. I would imagine that it will quite easily fit a waist of roughly about 26 inches up to hopefully about a 40 inch waist. So it's quite a, you know, these are manufactured in quite robust materials here. Um, the colour of this particular one that was sent over as a sample is actually a very light, very, very light beige colour. Now I have assurances from the manufacturers that they will be available in five different shades going from this very very light to a sort of a European skin, the European tone skin to a quite a, a dark sort of tone as well. So they're trying to match them up as best they can to various uh, skin tones around the, you know around the globe basically. For me I don't think it's overly important because this is actually an under sort of garment, a shaping garment so it's not actually going to be really seen much but uh, it's attention to detail that uh, makes it look and feel as though it's a much better quality product. So what I'm going to do here is, is slip this particular one on and see what it's like to get on, see what sort of shape I can get out of it and how easy it is to wear and um, pass whatever comments that, that arrive from <laughs> So there we go, that's a visual presentation of the particular garment up close and personal I suppose you could say. Um, for me the fit was quite uh, quite a good snug little fit, um, it feels quite uh, secure on, it wasn't difficult to put a certain part of my anatomy in place, it felt reasonably comfortable, um, it gave me quite a good sort of lines in the bottom area, um, my only slight reservations or criticism if that's the right way of saying it 
is I think you could do with a little bit more of a padding around the hip area to, to make it a complete garment. So at the moment it sort of flatters your bottom but it could do with a little bit more padding around the hips. As I say that would make it the complete garment. Um, I don't know what the cost of it would be but I would imagine somewhere between 80 and maybe 120 pounds at the most. I certainly wouldn't want to pay any more than that for it but um, as a product itself I think it's got uh, quite a lot of mileage in it. It was quite good on my stomach as well. I think it could, would actually flatten it down a little bit more um, if I could get one slightly smaller. Um, as I said the, initially the colour is of no real sort of um, concern. I think it's it just needs to be slightly darker um, but on the whole I'm quite pleased with that particular product. I don't know what you think. Please feel free to pop any comments and questions down below. As always when we upload a video I'm around for at least three or four hours afterwards to answer any sort of uh, questions that you may put in the comments. Uh, I generally try and get back to you as quickly as humanly possible. Um, if you found the particular review of interest please consider giving us a good old a thumbs up. If you've not already contributed or subscribed to our channel, please consider doing so. We'd love to have you on board. And all that really remains for me to say is please stay with us as always and stay gorgeous.